A high school soccer will start in Section 1A. Lourdes taking on Dover Yoda for the right to go to state. We'll pick it up late in the first half. No score. Eagles on the attack. Trent Neff settles the ball. Puts it in the back of the net. He wasn't sure what was going on, but that's a goal. That gave the Eagles a 1-0 lead. The Eagles would add another. They beat Dover Yoda 2-0. Lourdes is going to state for the first time since 2015. There they're celebrating. Up in double A, four seed Austin took on four seed Byron. We'll get this one going in the second half. Game tied at one. The Bears take the lead. Garrett Johnson is open near the goal. He heads it in. Byron up 2-1 trying to close in on a state tournament berth. But the Packers look to keep their state tournament streak alive later in the half. Caleb Tades makes a nice play. That is a Packer goal as Austin tied the game at two. This one went to a penalty shootout. Austin needed this one to stay in the game. But Byron makes the save. Byron is going to state for the first time in school history. They beat Austin 3-2 on penalties. Up in Class 3A, the male Spartans are going to state. They go up to Lakeville South and beat the Cougars 2-0. It's Mayo's first appearance at state since 2015 and their eighth appearance in school history. Now to the girls' side, 2 seed Dover Yoda taking on top-seeded Cotter for the Section 1A title. We'll pick it up late in the first half. No score. Cotter's Olivia Gardner has a one-on-one -on -one with DE keeper Emma Wiebeck. She makes an incredible save to keep the game scoreless. Later, the Ramblers found the back of the net. Sarah Speltz passes it ahead to Gardner, who scores. The Ramblers are going to the state soccer tournament for the first time in school history. They beat Dover Yoda 2 nothing. Up in double A, we head out to Albert Lee again. Four seed Casson Manorville taking on two seed Byron. We go straight to the second half. No score, 90 seconds to play. The Bears cross the ball. Taylor Finney scores. That is your game winner. The Byron Bears girls soccer team is also going to state. They beat rival KM 1-0 for the section title. Lastly, the high school football, the new rankings of the regular, or the final rankings of the regular season came out today, and here's where the local teams ranked in the polls. We'll start in Class 5A. The male Spartans move up a spot to number five in this week's poll. They close out the season tomorrow at home against Byron. In Class 4A, the Stuartville Tigers remain ranked fourth. They'll put their undefeated record on the line tomorrow when John Marshall travels to Schaefer Field. Sliding in at number seven are the Comets of Cass and Manorville. KM plays tomorrow at Owatonna. In Class 3A, we have three area teams in the top 10. The Lake City Tigers remain number one. They're followed by number six, Cannon Falls. The Tigers and Bombers will play tomorrow in Lake City in one of the best games in the state. At number nine are the PEM Bulldogs. In the smaller classes, Blooming Prairie remains number one in double A. The Chatfield Gophers are eight spots behind at number nine. And in single A, the Rusher Peterson Trojans moved up one spot to number three, seven and zero RP hosts six and one Bethlehem Academy tomorrow to close out the regular season. And in nine man, Lanesboro holds on to the number two spot while Grand Meadow moves up one spot to number seven. As a reminder, we have sports extra tomorrow night and not on Friday as we close out the football regular season. And that's a good sports on this Tuesday night. We'll be back after this.